What I would identify um, is a question of internet access and ISP liability. It's really important that young professionals appreciate the need for libraries to have sufficient access to bandwidth because the text size of books, pictures, video that you may be dealing with in the digital arena is significant. And of course, for internet service providers, that's an investment of resources in libraries that is unusual for them. And unless there is some clear guidance from copyright law, libraries will not be able to utilize digital media in terms of dissemination or distribution or lending that they want to if they don't have the infrastructure um, of the ISP available to them. That's a really significant thing and not enough librarians are as um, sufficiently aware of the importance of that question for libraries today. The second uh, threat that I would say is contracts. All libraries sign contracts. And it's very important for librarians to understand national copyright law and international copyright law so that when they look at a contract, they can say, this is not a contract that is consistent with the exceptions and limitations that we have as librarians and as libraries in order for us to perform our function of preserving knowledge, of, of having archives, of, of making copies available to users, of doing document delivery services. So this is really an important thing that li libraries need to appreciate that every time they sign a contract, they may sometimes be signing away a privilege that the law has given them if they are not conversant with the law. And that's very, very important. I think the last thing that I would say is the need for libraries to have sufficient policy space under national laws to experiment with new models of lending, new models of distribution, because the generation of users of libraries is different. I grew up going to a physical library, taking a physical book and reading it physically. This new generation may not be as accustomed or interested in spending time in a library space. So the creation of digital libraries, what that should look like. So not just performing your function in the digital realm, but what would a digital library look like? Who would your clientele be? What kind of uh, holdings would you need to have in a library? So the decision from uh, you know, what we stock on the shelf to what libraries we have relationships with for document delivery, these are all things that a, a new professional needs to think about strategically because in 10 years, maybe even in five years, um, libraries as we know them today are clearly not going to be the same.